Relationship between capacity and utilization in operation management. Welcome to a deep dive into the fascinating world of operations management. Specifically, we will be exploring the intricate relationship between capacity and utilization, two elements that drive efficiency and effectiveness in any organization. Capacity refers to the maximum output that a system can produce within a given time period. It's the limit of an organization's productive abilities. Without a well-defined capacity, a company risks underperforming or overstretching its resources. On the other hand, utilization is the degree to which a company uses its installed productive capacity. It's about how much of the available capacity is being used effectively. High utilization means the company is getting the most out of its resources. Now, let's examine their relationship. The balance between capacity and utilization is crucial in operation management. Too much capacity with low utilization can lead to wasted resources and higher operating costs. On the contrary, high utilization with insufficient capacity can result in overworked resources and decreased performance. In an ideal world, capacity and utilization would be in perfect harmony. However, in reality, many factors can disrupt this balance such as sudden changes in demand, equipment failure, or labor shortages. Thus, effective operations management involves closely monitoring and adjusting these two variables. The key is to have a flexible operation that can adapt to changes. When there is a sudden increase in demand, the organization should be able to increase its capacity without significantly increasing its costs. Conversely, in times of low demand, it should be able to reduce its capacity to avoid waste. But how can an organization achieve this balance? There are several strategies. One is to invest in flexible machinery or equipment that can easily be adjusted to match the demand. Another is to cross-train employees so they can work in different areas as needed. Forecasting is another essential tool. By predicting future demands, an organization can plan its capacity and utilization accordingly. This can help prevent both underutilization and overutilization of resources. It is also vital to regularly review and adjust the capacity plan. This entails constantly monitoring the actual output and comparing it with the planned capacity. If there is a significant discrepancy, then adjustments should be made. In conclusion, the relationship between capacity and utilization is a balancing act. It requires constant monitoring and adjustment to ensure that resources are used efficiently and effectively. By understanding this relationship, organizations can better manage their operations and achieve their goals. Remember, effective capacity and utilization management can lead to improved productivity, reduced costs, and increased customer satisfaction. So, keep these concepts in mind as you strive to improve your organization's operations. Thank you for joining us today on this exploration of capacity and utilization in operation management. We hope that you have gained a clearer understanding of these essential concepts and how they can be applied to improve your organization's performance. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on operations management.